Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Today I want to show you a video on how the so-called mainstream media sees itself, after which I will then break down the key elements of it. As a disclaimer before we begin, I am not a supporter of either the Republicans or the Democrats, or the media outlets that champion them. With that said, let's begin. This is an MSNBC reporter getting a reaction from Richard Stengel, who we will be talking about shortly on what he thinks about Fox News and its business practices. I mean, what's been so disheartening about it, I mean, having been in the news business my virtually my whole life, I mean, it is a business. I've never seen people make decisions about coverage based on business, based on profits, based on ratings. I mean, in the news business, people are care about the news. And so what we've seen from Tucker Carlson to the CEO is that all of these decisions are based on pure numbers and revenue and probably overseen by the, you know, the Wizard of Oz himself, Rupert Murdoch, who cares about that. Okay, so while Richard Stengel thinks of the news business as a business, he is shocked for any organization in it would treat it as a business and focus on what demographics want to see. And he has always believed that people in the business only report on what is definitively the news. There are some points here I want to draw your attention to and some details I want to clarify. First, Richard Stengel is introduced as a former editor of Time magazine. He was their 16th editor and this is brought up presumably to make him look like an honest, unbiased individual with all the proper knowledge, i.e. someone whose judgments you should trust. He is also a long-time supporter of the Democratic Party, and even served under Barack Obama as the Under Secretary of State for Public Diplomacy. The purpose of his department, and its Under Secretary, is to convince foreign populations to support the American government's policies and rhetoric and to dissuade them from what they dub Russian disinformation, a term that regularly encompasses anything the American establishment finds inconvenient. So while he's introduced as an individual of integrity, he is not a person with a blank ideology, and hence has his own biases. 2. He finds it surprising that news media, in this case Fox News and particularly Tucker Carlson tonight, would make decisions based upon ratings, viewing figures, and ultimately revenue. He also states that news people care about the news, which implies there is a right and wrong answer as to what qualifies as news. Merriam-Webster defines news as either a report of recent events, previously unknown information, or something having a specified influence or effect. In short, anything can be the news as long as it's happening now. What qualifies as noteworthy is subjective to each individual, as it is chosen according to their own value judgments. The implications of what he is saying is that what qualifies as news should be chosen for the public by the news institutions. And to add to this point, he shouldn't be surprised that Fox News makes news decisions based on ratings, because as he says, the news business is a business. For my third and final point, I want to go a little off topic and talk about news outlets being called mainstream. In the 2020 elections, 240 million Americans were eligible to vote. And that number has presumably increased since then, as the American population has increased. In February this year, MSNBC's primetime viewership figures averaged around 1.17 million. If we assume that all of those viewers are eligible voters, that means that only 0.49% of the US electorate watches MSNBC. It's hard to call half a percent mainstream. Time magazine did a little better. In 2022, it had a circulation of 1.35 million, which if we assume that that was all just among Amer the American electorate, 
that would mean that 0.56% of the American electorate read Time magazine. Still not great. Fox News does better, with a primetime viewership from this February of about 2.27 million. And if we continue assuming that that is among the American electorate, that works out at 0.94% of the American electorate that watches Fox News. That's almost, but not quite, 1%. However, the Tucker Carlson Tonight Show manages to attract 3.3 million viewers in February. And assuming the same methodology as before, that means that 1.38% of the American electorate watches him. That's more than twice the number reading Time magazine or watching MSNBC. But with readership and viewership percentages this low, I think it's hard to call them mainstream. Pervasive, yes. Fringe, probably. But not mainstream. And perhaps this is another reason why MSNBC and Richard Stengel are so aggravated by Fox News and Tucker Carlson. They're jealous of their viewing figures and the amount of clout they hold over the American public. Anyway, that's it for this video. I've left links and citations in both the video description and in the credits. If you want to explore these topics in more detail, those sources are a good place to start. As with all YouTube channels, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good evening.